the road who had been shot. Deputies say he performed first aid on the woman until a car came by the scene. The driver called 911. The woman was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Right now it is not clear who the victim is or how it all went down. Well, it's hard to believe, but today, gas prices in the Bay Area are almost a full dollar more than they were just a year ago. So many people are fed up, and apparently, so are lawmakers. 10 News reporter Janie Porter is live at the Rally Express in Oldsmar. And Janie, there was a special visitor at that rally today, we understand. That's right, Representative Gus Filarakis was here, Ginger, and he wanted to show up to hear what you think about gas prices, let people voice their concerns, and also offer some solutions. And let me tell you, he got an earful here today. This gas station is charging $3.79 a gallon, like so many in the Bay Area. And these prices right now are far above the prices we were seeing a year ago, as you mentioned. A year ago, we were closer to $2.80 a gallon. Now we're close to $3.80 a gallon, and we're not even to the peak of the dry driving season yet, the summer driving season. So Bill Arrakis says he has a few solutions to lowering gas prices. One is creating more incentive for natural gas vehicles and also allowing drilling in the Gulf, but with a 100 mile buffer. It's easy to say, you know, high gas prices affect everyone, but yep, that even includes him. We purchased a, a smaller car, and uh, you know, my wife does a lot of the driving. I'm in D.C., and, and, and we're really upset. Uh, it affects everything you do. Every time I go to the pump, I'm, like, getting crazy every time. So it's getting difficult. We've seen at least one station in the Bay Area charging over $4 a gallon, but that is nothing compared to Orlando right now. This gas station near the airport there charging $5.69 a gallon. You heard that right, $5.69 a gallon. The problem is there were no posted signs there, and this is a station primarily used by tourists fueling up their rental cars before them. they turn them back in. You know, we all remember when gas prices really peaked about three years ago in 2008. And back then, the national average was around $4.11 a gallon. We're still a little more than a quarter away from that, but this is the time of year when gas prices continue to creep up and up as we get close to the summer driving season and refineries switch to their summer fuel blends. And of course, Memorial Day we know comes with a, a rise in gas prices. So hang on, it will probably get more painful before the summer is over, unfortunately. Live in Oldsmar, Janie Porter, 10 News. All right, Janie, not the news we wanted to hear this afternoon. Thank you. Well, it's been around for decades, and even the King ate there. Now an iconic restaurant is damaged by an electrical fire. It happened at Nico's in Seminole Heights. When firefighters arrived at the diner on North